What's going on everybody? So tomorrow is Mother's Day and obviously me being a guy, naturally, I left it to the last minute to go out and get my mum a gift. So I went out today to the supermarket to get her, well not really a gift, I just got her a card. And I was in Asda, just going through the card section and I picked up about 10, 10 cards. Actually not 10, I picked up about 5 cards. And I was with a friend and my friend was like, why are you getting so many cards? And I, I told him, you know, I'm going to get a card for every woman in my life. I mean, even though Mother's Day is, in a traditional sense, about your mother, about mothers. You know, there are women in my life who have mothered for me. I mean, I got one for my ex-girlfriend's mother, for her sister. I even got one for her. And I got one for my sister as well. I mean, my sister's 10 years old. And realistically, there's no need for me to buy her a Mother's Day card. Because she's not a mother. And she's not going to be a mother for a long time. But... I bought her a card because I love her. I love my sister. And I know she loves me in a very motherly way. I mean, she looks after me, believe it or not. She's 10 years old and every once in a while she'll ask me if I'm hungry and she'll come upstairs and bring me some snacks. She's just a great sister. And I love my sister and I love my mum. And I love I love all of these women in my life. I love them the same way. Well, not the same way that I love my mum, but I love them just as much. And I don't want this commentary to fall on deaf ears. I want to implore you guys to treat every woman not every woman that you see in the street I mean I don't want you to go and just pick a random woman in the street and say hey happy mother's day have a card you know just the women that are in your life just show them some love man show the women some love I mean every woman every girl every female has the potential to be a mother and it's women alone who have the sole gift of bringing life onto this planet and I just I think that's a beautiful thing I just think that's great. Some men just abuse that. Running around, just sleeping with all these women, mistreating women. Without women, where would you be? Where would you be, guys? You wouldn't be anywhere. Huh? You wouldn't be anywhere. There'd just be a ton of men walking around town with a giant pain in their butt. Pushing prams filled with lube. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about uh, a time I was having a lot of discrepancies with my mum. A few years ago, we would literally argue every single day about the same old, just meaningless stuff. And just the notion that I couldn't get along with my mother was driving me crazy. And I wanted to move out. So I did. I moved in with my ex-girlfriend. And her mother had absolutely no problem with that. And I just found that so strange. Because me being an infidel to that entire family I thought the notion of me moving in was going to be an outrage and that just wasn't the case especially me being in a relationship with her daughter I mean it's slightly unorthodox I mean I say slightly but that's just modesty I mean it is overly unorthodox but she took me in she took me in she treated me like I was her own son and she bought me an Xbox man the Xbox I play on today is the Xbox she bought me I mean, obviously money doesn't buy love. Gifts don't buy love. I mean, just the sheer act of kindness that she showed me throughout all the years that I was in that house, I can just never forget. That's It was motherly love that we shared, you know. And I moved back to my mum's house. I was, like, pretty much back and forth. And, you know, the thing is, m mums, they make mistakes, you know. Mums, they make mistakes. We can... We can argue with our mothers as much as, as we do and just feel like, you know what, mum, it's just not going to work out between me and you. I mean, I love you and everything, but I cannot live with you. You know, I, I've said that to my mum. <laughs> but you have to work things out, you know. You have to, you have to be prepared to argue with your mum. You have to honour your mum, but you have to be prepared to argue. You're not always going to see eye to eye. But the thing I'm trying to say is that no matter what your mum, no matter what your relationship is like with your mum, you still have to love them no matter what they've done no matter what you've experienced no matter what you've been through you have to love them because they're your mum they brought you into this earth blah 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 I'm not going to be really cliche and go through all of that nonsense but Mother's Day is I think it's like the perfect opportunity to just show your mum how much you love her all of the women in life just show them how much you love them you don't even need to go out and buy them gifts you can stay indoors and just cook for them just make them a nice meal or something or maybe hoover the house do the stairs do something do some chores man maybe even tidy your own room 
But as long as you show that you have love for your mom, they'll know because obviously women are better at dissecting emotion than men are. So whatever you do, a woman is going to see the kindness and the, the, the act behind it. So yeah, that's my commentary for the day. Happy Mother's Day. Well, it's tomorrow, but... And for those of you guys in the US, I think Mother's Day falls in May. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why you have a different Mother's Day to us. Why are you guys so weird, huh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, refer back to this commentary when Mother's Day comes for you guys. And yeah, take care, guys. Peace. By the way, this is Mass Effect 3. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Peace.